Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 of the Elbing Confederation. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, 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 so. We've taken Burundi. We've made Oan Pai back some debts. The dual monarchy still has no interest. You're allied to Malta? Yeah, like, I, I want to go to the war to dual monarchy, right? That's, like, my top priority right now. I just don't know how we do it exactly. Okay, these tanks. One goes here, split off. One goes here. Apparently, I got these guys to double up. That's not what I wanted. Actually, no, you should go to the tanks. They're going to be in the front lines with uh, in the new war. Schleswig, we can have an alliance. That's fine. And we'll throw these guys into uh, the front as well. So now you guys have some aircraft. Thank you for another one. 21 prestige. Don't know if I really deserve it, but, uh, you know, I'll take it. I don't know why Spain isn't trying to colonize more land. I mean, they are communist, but I, I don't think that stops the AI from trying to colonize. I mean, we did hold the 5th Olympic game, so I guess we can hold the 6th one as well. Might as well hold 2. You don't lose anything. You guys need wine? That's your limiting factor right now? I can buy you wine. Um... Buy must Yeah, buy bigger stockpiles and stuff. Oh, uh, wine? We will automate by, you know what, 70 bottles. That seems okay. Yeah, so price for Clipper Convoys and Rifles is like, like, it's gone down a ton. Why 2,000? You know what? Military goods, 2,000 of everything. We have enough money to easily afford it, so it's not like it really matters so much. And now all the planes we're building at once. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Like, we just... Are those more communists? No, now they're fascist. Come up here, kill them, please, and then make your way down towards the south. Yeah, I mean, three, even losing 33 men, actually, in that fight is a little bit embarrassing. I really feel like we shouldn't have taken those casualties. Baronia. You still have a rebel problem. Scandinavia is now communist. I think for the third or fourth time, I'm not too, too sure. Scandinavia, like, it's such a, such a fall from grace that it's, like, you almost got to feel bad for them. Like, how, like, how do you allow this to happen to you? I haven't had one revolution. That's, I haven't had one successful revolution, I guess I should say. A lot of people have tried, but a lot of people have failed as well. Okay, get more prestige. Airplane units are coming from all over the country to go into Berlin. I guess, I guess fly into Berlin would make more sense. An international crisis? This crisis is happening over here. I want to get involved. Belgium immediately wants to capitulate. You want to support Belgium, you want to support Belgium, you want to support Belgium, you want to support me. Could I fight a two-front war, you think? Why does it say they won't accept here, but they'll accept here? I don't know. But no, I want war. I, like, Russia... How many does Russia have? They have 80 divisions. We're no longer allies with Japan. And I don't know why. Japan actually... They have still all this stuff set up there colonized. I, I think we want this war to happen. We want... I mean, Russia's back them. Does that change anybody's opinion? They both hate me. 
Grand Colum... I mean, probably actually, is Grand Columbia joining the war? I think actually only hurts us. Yeah, now that I'm assuming, yeah, they will not say yes. So we do got to prepare for a war against the Belgians as well. I mean, we, this army already, thing already has an aircraft. So you go here, you go here. Intervention in Iraq. You know what? This time, we will not do it. Because it didn't work out last time. Still want you my sphere, though. Please and thank you. I'm trying to think, like, okay. Are we, the, uh, are we on the offense or are we on the defense in this war? I don't really know. Combine, 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 and combine. We don't have any more. We do have 30. You know what? Let's get these troops on the Russian border. We need one of you guys. We need at least two of you on the Russian border. But I feel like Russia is going to start coming in through Poland. So there's no way Poland is not going to give them military access. I, I can win, though. I, I can win a 1v3 uh, Great War. I'm, like, more than certain. Especially since if we look at, again, our... Um, shit. Uh, technology. We look at military directions. We know, right now, no neighboring country has gas... I mean, no neighboring country, which is... I guess the dual monarchy is neighboring here. So, like, we know that they're really not a threat. Okay, Uganda still exists. That's fine. Let's exploit the native people. Thank you. And who would be on our side? I mean, the people in our sphere... Italy, hopefully. I mean, is that hopeful, or do I want them to, like, not be involved? I mean, Yugoslavia, Romania, Ruthenia, the Safed Empire's got a 57 stack. China could... Okay. Ah, like, it's it's so difficult, because here here's the thing for me. It's either China helps out a lot, or they're going to lose a ton of units. They do a thousand divisions on military tech five. Because you're trying to invade. Okay, you've actually got troops in Taiwan. You're mobilized to fight Taiwan. I think that might be a little bit much. I don't know if I want to call in China. I don't think I get much of a choice in the matter, but. No white piece. It, it, it's time for. You've all backed the Belgians. Everybody against me. So it actually, it's not even going to count as a great war. Um, because I have no great power. No, China, China sizes me, then it's a great war. Oh, this is... Hedge jazz. Sure, we can have an alliance. It's, it's literally us against the world. I will break all three of your empires. If you don't think I will, oh, you're, you're out of your mind. I'm going to kill each and every one of you. Uh, no, you know what? You all go to the Weimar army. Have a, you know, a decent 57 stack. Belgium. I know the AI would probably give up at this point. I'm well, not the AI. I don't give up. I don't give up because I know I'm going to win. You're my... The Dutch are our allies. Are you in anybody's sphere? You're actually, nobody's actually even tried to influence you, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, you got Polish, Lithuanian communists. How many troops does Poland have? They have 39 divisions. They'll probably be able to deal with this um, in due time. I, I've, I don't. You could even use the cost ability against Grand Columbia. I could try to dismantle Grand Columbia, but they're over here. Like they don't matter. I mean, the, here's the problem: Belgium and Grand Columbia are on this side of the map, right? And there's going to be a war with you as well because you're. 
yeah, no, this, this is definitely an interesting uh, series of events that we've gotten ourselves into. I don't know how good our navy actually is. Our transports, we don't want them in the fleet. We still have a bunch of shitty frigates as well. Yeah, get the transports out of here. They can be in a separate fleet all on their own. They're not worth it. Baronia! You have gone communist. It really does not affect me whatsoever. Are you allied to anybody? No. And you're, you're allied to Japan and Malta? It's a little bit strange. A rock, put you back in my sphere. You're at war with Turkey. Why are you at war with Turkey? Because you Turkey wants to annex you. That's unfortunate. Actually, Turkey, we might be at war with them as well. I have no I have no idea how this war is gonna shape out. I'm just gonna let you know that now. Great war, Italy said no, Hedjaz said no. All our vassals have said yes. Okay, so this is the war right now. 15, to, uh, 29, get 17, 22. The thing is that Grand Colombia and the Belgian Confederacy, their score doesn't really matter. And the reason it doesn't matter is because we're actually, they have nobody to fight. They have, they have a lot of North and South America. They'll take the Suez or the Panama Canal, yeah. That's really about it. Russia's now at war with China. China's not at war with the Japanese. Cannot negotiate a separate peace in a crisis war. You know what? That's actually really bad. Guys, hoping that we could do something. Do we take the offense or the defense? I think it's typically better. We're actually, we have Lorraine on our side. So I guess that's something. We are at war with Turkey. Okay. Question is, do we mobilize right now? Another question is, do we even need to mobilize? I, mean, I could mobilize 700 divisions. I mean, you're mobilizing, all right. I mean, you haven't yet. You go here. Like, I want... Like, we have this mantle nation against everybody. We have gas attack. They're only talking by one, which actually is not so so uh, great. So, yeah, if they don't have gas attack, get a 173 stack moving in. Honestly, that's much scarier than it actually sounds. Or, it's, it's, it's sounds scarier than it actually is. Buying these units up. You still stay here. Again, we're looking for the mobilization order. The mobilization's gone over. It's gone out for everybody else. So you want to mobilize our own units. Can I military access through you? Again. Looks like you have gas attack defense. But we're going to kill a lot of your units anyway. Uh, I need military access. So you come here. You move to this province. You come down to Nuremberg. All of this territory is fallen. Russia, send units in. Hold the line in the north. I mean, how much troops does Turkey have? Turkey has 33 divisions. You're sending troops in. I'm more, like, the thing is, I'm worried about China losing a bunch of men than anything else. Yeah, there's still a military attack 5. And, I mean, what's Russia at? A military attack 24, so... To me, that sounds pretty one-sided. 9.3, 12.2, 4.8, 1 1.2. Already, we're at 27. We need to get the 50% for cost abilities to cost half as much. Dismantle Nation is 45... If we fail, we get negative 700, but honestly, we're going to do it. We shall be victorious. You are you're our biggest target, right? I really wish we could separate peace out, but we cannot. Not during a crisis war.
We got a lot of defenses around here. We got a decent sized army. Yeah, as long as we can kill one of you guys. my it, it, We're kind of going like with our own like Schlieffen plan idea, which is basically kill France and um, you. Scotland, of course, is going to get completely occupied, but nothing we can really do there. And in terms of occupations, I'm not so worried about that. We do got some big armies down towards the south. Can you kill this guy? I, I don't know, actually. We have a 45 stack of infantry. Start sending them down south. Yeah, we'll do this. Help out both these armies. Crush them. Like, our military is just incredible. Like, that's really all you can say. We do got a lot of enemy forces around here. 4.7, 6.4. We did lose one battle, but I'm assuming that's against, like, troops that are just newly trained. So I'm not as concerned about that. Oh, that's Italy, right. We're now at war with Italy. Italy would accept an alliance. Geneva's agreed to an alliance. The Dutch are not at war. You won't join because you have truce to La Fang. Which I think is a little bit silly, but okay. You come over here. This 12 stack's a little bit risky. He's kind of just out there. Move you to this province. We got a 48 stack. Move you to here. How is the Russian front doing? It's okay. We got a 50 cent stack on this province. Don't see any Russian troops around here yet. We do see... Okay, there's a 45 stack. But that's not... That's not too bad. We're gonna have another crushing defeat for you. Another 12 war score. Thank you. Italy's at war. Who are you at war with? Oh, against Venice. Yeah, you know what? We assume leadership in the war against Venice. I'm actually completely okay with that. I mean, are you saying, are you annexing Venice? You're trying to acquire Venetia. It's because they have, I think, Cyprus left. Two, we did lose one battle somewhere. But again, I think they're mostly brand new troops that are getting trained up. That's, uh... Having the most issue here. Another 4.1. So we're at 50 for battles already. Would you surrender already at this point? Not even for white peace yet. Okay. The problem is that with Belgium being the war leader, they're on the other side of the world. Which could, I think, have like some problems for us. You go here and then to this province. Venice is having a bunch of socialists. Okay, so that's going to be another stack wipe. Almost another stack wipe. Being able to attack this province pretty easily, I think. Yeah, Italy... Sh I mean, they shouldn't have a problem dealing with that invasion. You guys are doing fine down here. Can Russia beat us? They're taking a negative four and gas attack, so I, I can't imagine that they can win. Yeah, seven, it's 17 against 1,500 men. I, I would say that's pretty one-sided uh, in our favor. Okay, so you've been defeated. You're moving down south. Reinforce this army. You're looking good. This army will be fine. So the Dewey Confederation has basically been defeated at this point. Which I do appreciate. An 81 stack. I mean, again, nobody can sever peace out in a crisis war. Another 9.6. Of course, right now, occupation is not doing much for us. 
Scotland's been lost already. Like, there's, there's no way we're getting Scotland. You would not accept this as the Third Great War. Um, Persia's already at war. Bengal will accept. Do I want them to accept? Probably not, actually. I could call you in. But you are just going to get occupied immediately. So, no, I, I don't think I really have any um, useful friends in this uh, war. At least not right now. Okay, let's spread you guys out a little bit thinner. Just so you can get some reinforcements in. You go there and then up to this province. If you've got 153,000 men in this army, probably a bit too much. Send 78 stack here. Another 78 stack there. Any other troops anywhere else? No, but you know what? Let's let's move our way into Russia in the north. Yeah, that that battle's been won. Russia, you're you're dead. Because right now, like I'm fine. Like this is if we don't push that, it's a negative 200 per, like prestige. But we're getting 300 from this, so I'm okay not doing this event if it comes down to it. At least that's my philosophy on the situation. Please uh, reinforce this guy. You still stay here. 16 war score from that battle. Uh, lovely. We do got a Russian fleet over here. My problem is that they, I, my navy, I would say, is outdated, which is unfortunate. You really try to attack this army, huh? I mean, you're going to be dead soon. Got another 18 war score off you. 218 war score bad. Like, so at this point, I don't even think it matters if China loses a bunch of men to the Russians. Um. Because even if they lose a lot of war score battle, like we should still be fine. By the way, I just I just gotta say, Italy, if you lose against Venice, I will be so disappointed in you. Like more disappointed than I th thought it could be in anything. Okay, so we'll help fight against you. Send a 44 stack up. Even with, like, their high defense stats, it, it doesn't matter. 84 stack. 84 stack. You are going to march. We've already taken Paris. You've already taken our capital. Yeah, so slowly push our way into Russia. Just want to keep things safe for now. Occupations right now 6.6. There are elections. Good old-fashioned wartime elections are always nice. What are you doing? Got a 70 stack? Honestly, I'm going to I'm going to engage that. I will send over actually this eh, I want this army. I'll actually send you here. A moment, then we're going to attack with you guys. One's going to go to this province. You go here, you go to uh, Orléans. Anyone around here have is sitting in occupied province for no reason? Yes, you are. Go to Venice then, because we got we got to kill Venice as well. But I think that this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you've enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Not enjoy, close thumbs down. You want to see more? Subscribe and goodbye.